Hello and welcome to my tutorial series on how to model low poly vegetables in Blender. This is part 5 and today we are going to model a turnip. This is the finished model. And as always I designed this so you can follow very easily. First let's set up our reference by pressing shift A then image then background. And then we can add our basic mesh, which is a UV sphere now. And I set the segments and rings to 16, because we don't need that much geometry. You can change the view in the top right corner. And I choose wireframe mode to see what I'm working with. Now I'm scaling the mesh down in the z-axis by pressing S then Z and by pressing S for scale then Shift Z to scale in X and Y but not in the z-axis. I finish the form. Press the tab key to get into edit mode. And now we can start selecting some of the top faces here to work on the geometry of the leaves. By pressing extrude, then Z, we can extrude these faces in the Z direction. And to level these faces out, we can press 2 to get into edge selection mode, then select an edge, set the 3D cursor there, and by scaling in the z-axis and pressing 0, all these faces are levered now. setting your transformation pivot point to individual origins. We can now start working on the stems. To get the leaves right, we can scale down in the X axis and then scale up in the y-axis to give it that flat shape right here. Proceed to extrude these faces. And to give it more of a random look, you can use the proportional editing tool by enabling it via the widget on top or pressing O on your keyboard. And here I want to randomize the leaves even more, so I get into X-ray mode by pressing Alt and Z. And now I can select all the leaves on top and bend them by pressing Shift W. Keep in mind that you'll bend always around the 3D cursor. Now if you want you can select individual leaves and rotate them around or change the height and width. Especially for these low poly models it's always a good idea 
to change things up a little. Okay, now let's work on the bottom part of the turnip. And by pressing C, you enter the circle selection mode. Select these faces right here. And by pressing E to extrude, then Z to extrude in a Z axis, you can create this shape here. Scale it down a little and repeat the steps. All right. Press tab to get into object mode and right click on your model. Then ch check uh, sm smooth shading for this look. And I want to work on the leaves some more. I want to bend them even further, so let's insert an edge loop by pressing Command and R. You can do so, and this gives us some extra geometry to work with. And by pressing Shift and W, you see you can now bend around the 3D cursor. So normally these turnips have a lot more of, uh, of leaves, but they will be cut away just for presentation purposes. So we will use this information to create a little bit more of information on our model. To do so, we will select two of these faces. Then by pressing I, we can insert them. By moving the mouse, you can change the scale. And by pressing two, you can enable edge selection and by pressing G twice you can now slide these edges on the surface of the model. By pressing E you can now extrude the form out and this will give us the look of the cutaway leaves. Just repeat these steps all around the model now. There is your model of the turnip. Now let's head into shading, select our model and click plus new to create a new material. And as always let's add our gradient setup by placing a texture coordinate node, a mapping node and a separate X, Y, and Z node, and combining it with a color ramp and plugging it in to the base color. This creates a nice gradient color change on our model, and if you want to add colors, you can always click on the plus sign. Alright, 
this looks fine for the gradient but I want to give uh, the model even more detail so now I'm going to add a geometry node and I will combine it with the separate x, y and z and when you plug in the normals slot you can now set the values of distinct regions of your model let's get our color ramp from the top by pressing shift and D to duplicate it or you can always set a new one and we display this now you see that all the faces are uh, looking through the bottom are black and the others are white so let's invert them by adding an invert node in between and this gives us some highlight on the top looking faces by adding a mix RPG node by pressing shift A then color then mix RPG we can now combine these two setups All right. Now, if you choose multiply as your mix method, your colors will be multiplied. So all the colors on the top facing faces will be a bit darker. And there it is. So the turnip, turnip itself will be smooth, but I want to, the leaves to have a little more bump. So let's duplicate our texture coordinate and our separate x, y, z node by pressing shift then d, add a bump node and plug it into the normal slot. And a noise texture and plug this into the height of your bump map and now the bump will be evenly distributed all over your model but we want this distribution just on the leaves so we can combine our color ramp with a mix RGB shader and we will use this color ramp in as a factor so we can manipulate where the bump will be displayed if we slide this around now you will see the changes So now it's time for you to be creative and recreate this turnip in Blender. And if you want to, you can send me your work. And if you do so, I will show some of your work in one of the videos in the future.
So if you want to share your take on this, you can show it to me by following me on Twitter or sending me your work on Instagram. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification button to keep yourself updated on new videos and tutorials. Thanks for watching and have fun creating!